Hi everyone, I'm uh, Jasmine Aron from Tarrant uh, Solutions. Uh, Tarrant is an innovative software company. We have offices in Bonn and offices in Berlin. Uh, we're about 150 uh, employer, employees and uh, our big customer is uh, River Group, uh, Carthor and uh, Globus. Um, and today I'm going to talk about uh, the smart car and connected shopping. And thank you for uh, coming, of course, and uh, this lecture will be in English. So, yeah, so what is connected shopping? In general, connected shopping is the idea of shopping uh, anywhere, any place, any time. Today, most of the people prepare their shopping, and they go online, they have, uh, they look at product information, price comparison, uh, they like to uh, pre-plan uh, their shopping, and also social inquiries, like check out on Facebook and ask their friends, and things like that. So we mostly know it as um, online shopping. But I also want to discuss the in-store shopping where people probably know that they yes, um, use less connected shopping. So for example, you can see here we have two different colors. The dark, it's, I think you see it less good, but the top one is the traditional retail where you go into the shop and the other one is the online. And it really depends on what you're shopping for. So for example, um, for groceries, people will go more to the shop. So we still have it, but the question is, how do people shop uh, inside the store and are they still connected? So we see that 75% of people who have smartphones actually, you, uh, actually are uh, connected inside the shop, right? So we see that 40% are asking uh, their friends and talking to their family about it. Uh, 36 people use uh, coupons. Uh, 42 compare prices and all of the things are actually done inside the shop, including payments, right? So we have 24% of the people are actually doing payments. So I think this is very interesting and it shows that a lot of people still are connected inside the shop and not like online. The question is, if you as retailers are connected to your shoppers, right? So the interesting thing is that only 46% of the people who use their phone um, go to the same website as where to, um, they are inside of the shop. And 30% of the people go outside and look for different things. So if you're, for example, in your shop, you will actually uh, look on your smartphone and go to a competitor. And this way, as a retailer, you're really losing a lot of your customers. And of course, we have a lot of other kinds of things. So I think we can conclude from this that people are using phones inside the shop and you as retailers are losing your customers to other competitors. But the interesting thing is also that not all the people have smartphones. So as you can see here, about less than 50% of the people who have smartphones actually, uh, sorry, the people who have mobile phones actually have smartphones. This means that not all people can understand. What? You don't agree with this? Well, I was thinking that I don't agree with it as well, but this is, um, this is actually a summarize of the whole world. So, so it's not in Germany. Actually, surprisingly, in Germany, I, didn't ha I don't have the slide here, but in Germany, we actually have about 40% of users that have mobile use smartphones. But of course, in the US, for example, you have about 60. So this is a general uh, from the whole world uh, average. That's why it doesn't seem like logic. And I was actually very surprised as well, but it seems that a lot of people do not have smartphones anyway. So what we conclude from this is people do use their smartphones in the shop, assuming they have smartphones, but half of the people don't have smartphones. So you as a retailer would want to actually um, connect to your people, right, that are in your shop and see how you can leverage that and get more revenue and have more sales. The numbers are really interesting. So we were thinking what we can do because current wants to connect all the people and have everybody feel the experience of online shopping and connected shopping. So what we decided to do is the smart cart. And this is our uh, solution for, for that issue. And what we did is we took um, our mobile app that we have and we just made it inside a cart. And this way all the people who don't have a smart cart, uh, sorry, the people who don't have a smartphone can actually have the same experience inside the shop using this, right? In addition, we have all the people that uh, don't like to install apps on their um, mobile, on their smartphone. 
and of course when you're shopping you want to have your hands free so if I still take the mobile and I scan things all the time I can't really take things or touch things so this solution solves all of those issues so how did we do it we took a cart which everybody knows what a cart is right in every supermarket you have a cart and for this we partner up with Menzel so this solution this is a Menzel cart together with our solution we took a tablet, which is a monitor and has all the information. We have a scanner, so we can scan the barcode, so you can have a fast uh, scanning solution. And we're using beacons, and we use beacons for all kinds of location-based services. So this cart knows exactly where you are, what you're doing, and the retailer will have more information about that. The good thing about it is that you can also navigate inside the shop and have a lot of other things too. So I will go quickly on uh, the solutions and the features and how does this improve for the retail and also for the customer. So in general, this is our main screen. We have offers. You have a space for dedicated uh, text, which you can uh, write anything for your customer and have more personal feeling. We have the self-scanning and we have a lo loyalty program. So we really want to be engaged with the customers that use it and we would really like to have everybody join the loyalty program. So the reason, um, so what we're doing is when you scan, we also show promotions for the loyalty program. What will happen if you were a loyal, a loyal program, um, part of the loyalty program? And we have uh, product information, right? From the numbers before, I didn't go over all of them, but you could see them. So from the number before, we saw that 43% of the customers that have smartphones look for product information. So once we have it here inside the cart, your customers don't have to look online, they don't have to look at competitors and see like the prices in different places. So everything is here. In addition, we also have the small labels, the blue things are labels which you can label the product. So in this case, because it's a uh, grocery, so we have vegan or things like that. But if you are DIY, you can add it for um, like glue, for doing um, for plastic or for wood. So this is very customizable, so it's really easy to do it however you want. We also have similar offers, and we show we saw that um, doing research, similar offers increases the sales and the basket value for you. And of course, navigation. So once you prepare your shopping list, or you're inside the shop, and you want to find the product you're looking for, we have an easy navigation system that we just click it, and you know where the product is. We use beacons for doing that. This is one of the things that we use it for. And from research, we saw that 92% of the people who are in the shop and cannot find the product they want leave the shop. So this way, you're helping them find what they're looking for and finalizing their uh, shopping and payment. We have a shopping list, which today I think a shopping list is very trivial in most places. And probably I don't have to explain about it. Uh, and promotions as well. So we have very smart promotions which are based on your shopping cart because we scan every product you put so we know what you like. Or you have the loyalty membership card so we also know what you like. So I would give you offers depending um, on what you like. And I would also give you offers depending on your location. So I won't give you an offer for milk, for example, if you're in the other place of the shop. Once you're there, we're going to give that notification for you. So we're targeting users here with the right place and the right message. And from research, we can see that 30% of people actually do click and do respond to a location-based and a beacon-based uh, advertisement. So this also really helps you of uh, increasing your sales in the shop. Um, shopping cart, I think everybody knows what a shopping cart. The shopping cart is really easy because when you go out, of the store and you're in the checkout, it shows you all the lists you can modify in your shopping cart and then you can pay directly from it. And paying uh, saves you a lot of time standing in line. So this is, here we implemented a scan and go solution. Um, in this case, I think it saves the customer a lot of time, he doesn't leave the shop. Plus, you also uh, save money on having people standing there in the till. And of course, we also have the online payment. We get various uh, options of payment, which can be cash, using scan barcode, and of course, online payment. And if you remember before, I mentioned 25, 24% of people today do use the online payment in the shop. And I think this is a huge number, especially if people don't really know to do it yet and all the security issues about it. And I really expect this to grow. Um, so this was the cart, but of course it's not enough to give that solution. As for the retailer, it's very important for us to show him 
what he can do, what's happening in a shop, and be connected to his customers to optimize the places inside the shop. So for example, we have an example here of a, a dashboard. You can see where the people are in your shop. You can see their basket value. In addition, we have something that is called level of trust, which we have a special and patent algorithm for it. The level of trust um, understands how the customer is acting, and based on it, you can know if you want to give them uh, to do an exit and online payment or not. Uh, if anybody wants more information about it, I'm happy to give it afterwards because it's very complicated uh, algorithms and things like that. And we also have um, a heat map where it gives you uh, the good locations in your shop and where you can improve uh, putting ads or things like that as well. So to summarize, um, all of the features you see here are what Tarrant is doing. And we don't only have the smart, uh, all the, sorry, we don't only have all the solutions inside the smart car, we also have it as a mobile app, and we also have it as widget. So you as a company can implement it in any way, wherever you want to do it. So if you already have a mobile, uh, sorry, so if you already have a web solution, you can just take a widget and connect it inside your web, and then we have a full solution, and the customer can use web, mobile, or the smart car any place you want because as a company it's very important for us to give a full connected solution to your customers. Um, so that's about it. Uh, our booth is, uh, so first of all if anybody's interested you can come and play with the card here. We have a full demo, uh, the booth is there. So it's really close, we have a full demo and you can come check it out including the location uh, services that we give and check out the dashboard. So I recommend you doing that, and that's it. Uh, does anybody have any questions? No. <laughs> okay. Thank you. No, you have no chance to go out without any questions. It can't be. We have to fill the next quarter of an hour. <laughs> oh, I was fast. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, are you able to identify individual customers, for example, um, owners of loyalty cards, and how do you manage this technically? Yeah, so what we have is a loyalty program. Uh, you can scan your card. I don't have an example here, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. uh, the customer can just come, scan his card, and then he will be logged in. In addition, if he prepared his shopping before, he can see it here, so he can see all his shopping card. And we don't also give uh, the user to use the card without being a loyalty program, so anybody can use the card. So uh, it's um, it's not a uh, big trouble to, to identify myself. No, you just predefine it. Well, we have two options. One is exit your card and you scan it, or you can enter manually the number. It's really quick. It takes like, less than two seconds to do. Mm -hmm. And another option is if you don't have a card, you have the option to join the membership loyalty program within the smart card like you will do online. Okay. Any benefits for customers, for loyalty uh, um, card users to, to use this? Yeah, of course. I will show some images. Um, so what we have is different amounts of pricing. And here, for example, you see a special price for loyalty membership. Oh, so the benefit is that you will get a much cheaper price. Of course, this depends on the customer or the retailer. And we also give you, uh, at the end, you can do automatic payment. Um, this is an example of a uh, user that is not a member, but if you are a member, it's already known what uh, payment method you will do. So it would be like entering your PIN code and that's it. And you will uh, have uh, special offers depending on the specific yeah. location or on the floor? Yeah, exactly. Uh, this will be, for example, this. And if you guys want, you're welcome to come and get a surprise in our booth. We're giving out really cool drinks with kind of toggles. Um, so yeah, and that way we actually target um, customers exactly where they are and what they interest them. I don't want to be the only in this uh, audience to have uh, that, uh, that has questions. Uh, I will give you the chance. Any questions from your side? Well, I have yeah. another. <laughs> Uh, you mentioned that the, um, you, uh, the customer can pay directly uh, the scanned articles. Mm -hmm. uh, what is in the case uh, the customer has forgotten 
to scan? So that is a really good question. Um, so now we have two things to solve it. One, when you, so because we actually scan most of the items, we know what is the um, expected uh, weight of the card. And when you will exit, we will, um, we will weigh the card and we will match the card between what is it actually weighs and between what is expected. And then we have a difference. We know that you forgot to uh, scan something. In addition, we also have the level trust, which we know if um, we can actually assume what is your level trust and how uh, trustworthy you are and to let you pay automatically or not. Mm -hmm. What about loss prevention, about this sexy device? Yeah, sorry, what about it? Loss prevention. Loss? Oh, so it's uh, in general it's connected. <laughs> I'm interested in this. Uh, yeah, so in general it's connected. Device. It's uh, pretty much secure because we have uh, location based services. So what if you, um, we have a monitoring uh, dashboard, so if you go far away with it, we will know and we can be alerted and know exactly where it is. Really? Yeah. When I leave the parking place, uh, you we will, will know about we'll it. Check it. Okay. Yeah, and probably we will add a siren or something that you're taking it. It depends mm. on the retailer what he wants mm. to do. Is it a, a pilot installation or uh, do you go live with this? Uh, uh, so this is, uh, we did it specially for the Euro shop, so this is a really new product. Really new? And yeah, um, we just uh, had a PR for it like a week ago before the Euro shop and we're looking actually for a pilot. Uh, we already have for our other solutions some pilots and they're going really well. Perhaps in Germany the pilot uh, will run? Uh, hopefully, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, you mentioned that uh, three or four customers use their smartphone during their shopping yeah. in, the, in the shop. Um, what, what about the figures? International figures, US based these are, or German are, based? Yeah, well, uh, these are international figures. Okay. And Do we have any, yeah, we have exactly any ideas from you, Germany? Um, wait a second, let's see. So this is actually taking from Google, these numbers. Uh, they're mainly uh, US-based. This is taking uh, also from these companies, so this is global numbers. And this specifically is also, uh, this specifically is from Germany. Uh, but the usage of smartphones are global. Specifically for Germany, people use less the smartphones. I don't have it here, but I'll be happy to send it out to whoever who wants to know more about it. Questions from your side? Yeah. You mentioned that the technology could be applied on mobile devices as well as at home. Would the scan and go capabilities port over to mobile as well? And if so, how would that work? Yeah, so actually our first solution is mobile. We have a mobile solution uh, that's called Celsio. We have exactly the same capabilities. What we did is we just took all the software that we had um, and all the technology, including the back end, and we just adapted it to uh, tablet size. So everything is working. We also have it in a pilot, and you can come over to our booth, which is there, and we will be happy to show you everything. Exactly the same technology. You uh, could tell us something about integration uh, of your application with uh, relevant uh, central applications like ERP, merchandise management yeah. systems, or CRM engines in and end. And is it in real time, for example, with price changes and, and so on? Who is the master, the ERP? Well, we have different customers, so we support different solutions. So it really depends what ERP system you have. We have the capability of integrating any solution you want, including also POSs. So for example, now in a pilot we're working in on uh, integrating the POS to the automatic checkout solution. So we have a lot of experience in that. It really depends, but we're open for everything. Okay. What about the price? Oh, the price is very interesting. So, in general, uh, because we're looking for a pilot, so the, pi uh, the price uh, to do a pilot is pretty cheap. We're looking at about 30,000 euros. The pilot includes uh, setting up the shops with the beacons, so you have a full um, location-based uh, shop, and it includes all the software and label labeling it to your company. Uh, we also found from our vast experience that databases are very complicated, and each customer has their own special database, so it includes also um, 
handling all the database and all your products. So when you look at it, you'll have all your products and everything as well. So innovative retailers who want to be the first movers. Uh, yeah, we are. Really benefits <laughs> from your side. Yeah, exactly. And I didn't okay. see any solution like this in the market yet. So. Which kinds of uh, retail branches uh, would you uh, prefer with this uh, application, with this solution? So we don't have a preference yet. We just um, we have we are open to any because this solution works for any type of retailer or any type of product. Well, in the, in the bookstore, we will not have such a Yeah, exactly. Google is less relevant, but... Um, is it possible to, to integrate it with other uh, devices? Yeah, or? so I think in general... So first of all, um, I think most people don't shop for books in a store, so it's not a problem. They usually shop online for that, so it's actually a good example that you gave. Uh -huh. uh, but yes, the other solution we're going to do and it's on our roadmap is scanning, uh, the handle scandal, uh, scanning things. So we're going to take exactly the same solution that we already have customers for and integrate it inside a... Shopping basket? Yeah, like that. I think a shopping basket is more complicated in that case because it's smaller, but we are going to do it in a scan solution like what you have in Ikea or things like that. And then you could also use that and scan your items and have exactly the same capabilities for that. Okay. Yeah. Last chance for you. If uh, we are interested in some other questions or informations or a demonstration, we will find you again, please, in this hall. Wait, I show you where. Oh, so many slides. Here. Uh, it's hall. This <laughs> We're here. Okay. If, if you go straight there, you see us. It's the red. It's nearby. Booth. Yeah, okay. exactly uh, near the Chinese lamps. So it's okay. really easy to find. Thank you very much. Thank you very much too. Bye.